Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sub zero eight seven six five, aka Jeremy here, bringing you today's video of the day. And today's topic we're going to talk about is gigabit internet speed. Um, obviously, we go by megabits per second right now, but gigabit is the way of the future. Um, there's you know quite a few cities, particularly outside of the U.S., that are already going to that. Uh, there's an issue with the U.S. possibly falling behind, um, while gigabit. Uh, is definitely more expensive in terms of just you know the amount of data you're using versus megabits per second. Um, also, oppor you know opportunities abound. Uh, it's a good way to get more businesses, tech startups, different uh, groups to join you because obviously if they have access to a higher speed internet, they can try new things and they'll have be able to conduct business online literally faster in some cases. Um, some of the cities in the U.S. that are actually on board with this already are uh, Kansas City and also uh, Cedar Falls, Iowa. Um, both have gone with, you know, Goobers, or Goobers, <laughs> excuse me, Google's uh, fiber optics, and their speeds are considerably better. Um, both cities have said that it's definitely been more attractive for startups and just drawing new business in general, so it's definitely something that's cool. Um, in fact, uh, Today, President Obama is actually supposed to be going to Cedar Falls to uh, talk about that and, you know, make a push for it. Um, because typically the average internet connection is between, you know, 5 and 20 megabits per second. And obviously a gigabit would be 1,000 megabits. So you're looking at considerably uh, faster speeds. Um, it just means uh, businesses also can just save money is going to be, you know, the biggest push out of this because obviously they can get more done do it by doing work faster which you know equates to saving money so that'll be cool I definitely hope they bring that to a city you know near me soon because I definitely would be more than willing to pay for uh, the faster connection because you know guys like us we do streaming and uh, twitch and I can use every bit of speed so anything like that would help but um, that'll actually wrap up. I'd definitely like to know, you know, your guys' opinions. Um, one other thing I did want to throw in is, uh, about the, uh, you know, average internet speed for, you know, 50, 25 megabits per second download and upload speeds respectively is, uh, 45 to 50 bucks, whereas one gigabyte per second and then 500 megabytes per second download upload uh, speed ratio would be between 135 and 140 so it is more expensive I didn't want to say like it's just a few bucks more but obviously the more people that use it will also help drive down that cost and that's both people and obviously businesses so uh, and then obviously more things will you know gear up towards it and adapt to it because obviously when people start using it they're still not going to be it's just like gonna be like TV. Not at all the channels were ready for for high def when it first started, but definitely looking forward to that. Um, this has been Sub Zero Eight Seven Six Five, aka Jeremy. Definitely share your thoughts below. If you live in one of those cities that I mentioned, be sure to uh, give me your opinion. Let me know how you think it works and is it worth it. Because obviously you have firsthand knowledge. Thank you and stay safe.